Hi guys, Danny's Trends here. I'm a full-time reseller on the app Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, ThreadUp, and Kitizen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here with another video for today. It's going to be a haul video. So I have a total of 37 items. They were from two different locations. However, I calculated everything. So the total cost was 78.18 and divided by 37 items, that is 212 per item. And one of the items already sold. So I will put a picture either here or here so you could see it. All right, so I have some clothing and then I have shoes. So I'll do the clothing first and then I'll do the accessories that I have. Okay, so from this first part will be what I got from what I found at the bins. So the first item is this Palichi. Oh, it's upside down. Oops. Okay. It's this Palichi skirt. If you can see the tag there. And it's a size 10 and this is how it looks and i got it because it's really nice it's a cute pencil skirt with a back slit in the back and i also looked at the fabric content and it is 70 percent wool 30 percent nylon and then the lining is 100 percent ace tape so that's why I that's why I um, picked this up because it is a wool blend skirt. So perfect for the fall time if you have to work in an office and you just want to keep a little warm, but not too warm. That would be perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the next item is this Tommy Hilfiger men's shirt. I picked this up because Tommy Hilfiger does really well when it has the huge logo. And this has a huge logo in the back. And it says American tradition with a huge logo, like I said. And it's also color blocked. So I feel like this will do really well. Okay. And this next item was a Rosso Milano Italian. Italy but a men's button down so I got this because it's a nice pink button down and then the buttons are pink as well so I thought that was really neat it has this little red lining inside um, yeah so a perfect men's button down whether they want to just wear it as casual or as a dress shirt it would work for both okay and then the next one is this eileen fisher and my mom actually picked this one up for me it's missing a size tag however it is a silk blend so 54 percent silk 35 percent rayon and 11 percent nylon so i thought this would do really well it is listed in my poshmark closet um basically on all my reseller platforms with the measurements if you are interested since it doesn't have a size tag but i thought this was really cute let me try it on so you could see yeah so i wear about um medium small or medium so i think this would be a large so yeah i think this would be a large so yeah however if you do like to wear um your clothing a little bit loose it would work as a medium so okay the next one is this men's waffle knit it looks like a vintage um sweater i did list it however i did notice when i got home that there was a little tiny hole there so i um this that i had picked up from the bins so this one is just a long old navy coat it's a size extra small it's a it's a double-breasted coat and it also has a strap here 
that you could tie in the front. I thought this was really chic and nice to wear this fall season. So that's why I rescued it from the bins. Look at that. And yeah, I love that it has the belt as well. And it's double breasted, it has a collar, and it is a size extra small. Um, yeah, I would try it on, but I cannot fit an extra small at all. Okay, and this next one that I found at the bins is a Lauren Ralph Lauren pink cable knit, pink cable knit um, sweater. Now, I normally love picking up Lauren Ralph Lauren, especially if it's unique because it does really well for me. Now, this one I picked up because of the cable knit, and I noticed on here that it says silk, but the, um, the collar part here is 100% silk, but it wasn't until I got home that I noticed that it is cashmere. So it is a cashmere silk blend, which will do really well for this season. And yeah, it's just super cute with a little silk collar here and the long sleeve cable knit. Now it's not a full two layer because this is what it looks like on the inside with the silk collar, if you could see. It's kind of, it's attached, but it's not like a full silk shirt underneath. Okay, and this one is the Limited. And let's see, it's new with tags. Um, let's see, and it says it's the Limited America All American Vintage. It has a hood in the back, and it's a size small. It's really, really cute. It's like a utility vest type of thing. Perfect for like if you're going camping, fishing whatever <laughs> i just think it looks so cute so i picked that up from the bins or i should say i rescued it from the bins because if i hadn't picked it up then it would just go to the landfill and it's too cute to go to the landfill this next one is really super long it's a socially size large however i read on their website that it does run small but it is just a really nice embroidered lace romper. Um, yeah, it's so beautiful and it has a hidden back zipper back here, but it is just so amazing. So, um, and it's boho style as well. Very flowy and lightweight. So I think it's perfect for someone who has a special event or if you're like a bridesmaid or going to a wedding or something, it's perfect because it's that type of style, that type of material. Okay, and the measurements for that will be in my Poshmark closet as well. Okay. All right, and this next item is a vintage JLo velour jumpsuit. So it's really long, just like the last one. Gosh, I hope it doesn't have okay yeah it's really long just like the last one um yeah so it's really cute it has a side waist a side um string here to tighten it it also has a zipper however the zipper head broke off but you're still able to move the zipper up and down if you need to sorry I can't do that with one hand let me see you could still move it up there you go and then it also has a hood in the back so it is super cute and perfect it's from the 2000 2001 era okay and this next piece is just a dickies pants and I grabbed this because it has the white embroidered, the white thread detail on it. And it has these little straps here on the side, lots of pockets, and it looks very grunge to me. So that's why I picked it up. Super cute, whether you wanna wear it for an outfit or as like a uniform or something, it will look really great. 
and this is a zero twenty four. So that looks like. Pretty sure you know what a JLo tag looks like, and this was what the socially tag looks like. This goes for quite a bit online, so I'm hoping to get a lot for that. Okay, and this next piece is a just a, a sweatpants polo Ralph Lauren size medium. I got this because I love zippered pockets and it has the Ralph Lauren logo here and it also has blue and white stripes on the side and the pocket on the back is zipper as well and it's a performance sweatpants so perfect for if you want to go jogging um, if you want to go walking or if you just want to just look casual uh okay so again it's a size medium and that's what the tag looks like i was planning on keeping this piece however it didn't fit the way i wanted it to i still have to decide whether it's uh men's or women's pants sweatpants so i will put that up as soon as i find out okay now this is a kid's item even though i put it on an adult hanger but it's so cute perfect for the holidays it's a carter's nine months uh full zip sweater and it has like little reindeers on it so i think that is perfect yeah okay so that's what it looks like and carter's nine months I love picking up kids items because I uh, I am on the Kidizen app so I'm able to cross list it to quite a bit of platforms so I'll definitely pick it up at the bins. Okay so this next one is a Baby Gap cable knit sweater for 18 to 24 months. Perfect for the holidays as well. It's a long sleeve and again it is cable knit and it's Baby Gap so that's what it looks like i think everyone likes to do holiday pictures so if you get these sweaters for your little baby you guys could take a really cute holiday family photo so that's why i picked it up and the next kids item is this avengers marvel t-shirt and it is let's see what size a size five six so yeah, it's just the Avengers Endgame t-shirt, which this was such a good movie. I really, really loved it. So yeah, this is just a short sleeve shirt. Have to get clean this part off, but it's just a short sleeve shirt, lightweight and breathable because it's not going to be cold everywhere this winter. And it's also perfect to like wear under a sweater or a jacket. So this next piece is a kid's item as well, a size eight, and it's by Dockers. This is what the tag looks like. So it is a quarter zip. It does have the logo again right here. It has white and red stripes across the chest to the arm. It's long sleeve and it has like a mock neck here. So super warm and cozy and it is 100% cotton. So perfect for a little boy. Yeah, so all of these four items are perfect for your little boys if you have perfect holiday items to add to their collection this season. Now another item I got at the bins was this Zara Man dark green button down. I picked this up because dark green is perfect for this fall, um, winter season. Well, especially specifically fall season. Now the only thing is it does have a little bit of discoloration um, by the armpits here. 
It does have a front, two front pockets though, and it's a full button down with a collar, a size small, and it is a slim fit. So I will just price accordingly. However, I do think this gives a bit of a difference because I know some people do like that washed out look. So I don't think that will really matter much but I will still just disclose it in the listing and price accordingly. So that's what it looks like on the back and the front. This next piece I was super excited about finding at the bins. It is a Columbia snow suit, snow jacket, and it's a size extra large. It's a full button down and it does have a zipper as well. It has the Columbia logo right here long sleeves um it's a heavy weight jacket and it does have some fleece on the inside to keep you warm and now the only thing with this one also is this little mark at the back i'm not sure if it could you could see it in the photo but i don't think that will matter because you can barely see it and that's the only thing wrong with this beautiful snowsuit so it is a men's size extra large. It does have pockets as well, zippered pockets. And yeah, I picked that up. I think this is a really nice item that you could get at a discount if you want to go skiing or anything in the winter. Okay, all right. So now this next piece is an express sweater. I normally don't pick up express unless it's really unique. Um, so this one has the English lion on the front and it is a size extra small. Now the reason I picked this up was because I felt it and it was so, so soft. So I decided to look on the fabric content tag and it is 61% acrylic 20% wool, 13% nylon, 3% mohair, and 3% other fiber. So it is a wool and mohair blend, and I decided to pick it up for that reason. And it's so soft and cozy, and I also love the English line here on the front. And it does have a bit of a sequin on the line as well, so I think this is so, so cute and perfect to keep you warm and also soft. Alrighty, so this next piece is a Style Co size small. I normally don't pick up Style Co either unless it's really unique or if it's a plus size because plus size does really, really well for me. But this is just a three quarter sleeve dress and it does have a turtleneck here that you could button all the way up if you'd like. Um, and then it is ribs here on the arms and on the skirt part of it and it has also two front pockets so I thought I had to pick this up there was no way I was going to leave this for it to go to the landfill so yeah really really cute and again it is a size small and look at that button detail I just thought this was so pretty I can't believe it made it to the bins If I live somewhere cold, I would definitely keep that because I could fit a size small and it's so cute. So I would definitely keep it to keep warm in the winter. However, down here, it does not get that cold at all. All right, so this next piece is an Old Navy size medium, which I never really pick up either. However, this one, it was a really cute print on a beige background and it's a long sleeve lightweight sweater so i think this will do really really well it's so beautiful um yeah if this one doesn't uh sell then i'll keep it because it is lightweight it's super pretty look at that detail yeah so i love that had to pick it up All right, and this one is a Calvin Klein jeans, size medium. I believe this one 
is vintage as well, but I'm not quite sure. It is a Calvin Klein turtleneck and it has a Calvin Klein jeans logo right there, which is really what which is really good. So it should do well. It's a long sleeve orange and white striped sweater top. And I just feel like this gives me 90s vibes and it's just super super cute so i had to pick it up i love that it has the calvin klein jeans logo around the neck area so that is beautiful and again it is a size medium and it's made in peru somewhere other than made in china so normally i pick it up when it says a different when it says it's made in a different country However, if it's a good brand and it's made in China, I'll, of course, I'm still going to pick that up. Okay, so the next one, um, oh, looky here. I thought you could move these things, but you can't. So the next one is this Iris V-neck long sleeve waffle knit sweater and it's just a burns orange or brown color i think it's more of a brown yeah so it's just a brown long sleeve waffle knit sweater but i really liked the lace details right here on the front so it's a v-neck with a lace detail which i think is really really nice if you don't want to show your full cleavage there and it also has that lace detail on the arm as well so of course i picked that up because it's really really cute this next one is a liz claiborne which i never pick up liz claiborne no matter what because it doesn't do well for me however this one was at the bin so i got it for a really nice price a really low price um and it's just a utility jacket so utility jackets do really well around this time or basically any time um so any season so this is just a button down utility jacket it has two front pockets here it's long sleeve it does have a collar and it's a black so i think this will do really well this one is a size medium also and that's what a liz claiborne tag looks like and it has a zipper here which i never really see on the left hand side so you open that up that's quite big enough for you to fit whatever you need to fit in there so yeah i picked this up because it gives me that grunge vibe and it is a utility jacket so definitely pick up utility jackets if you see it at the bins okay so before i do these next three items um i'll go ahead and show you the rest of the items i got at the bins before because i did go this haul is from two different stores so i'll go ahead and show you that okay so the next item i found at the bins was this amazing the originals dvd and i loved this show this series so much so i definitely got super excited when i saw that at the bins and i picked it up so i will be listing this soon it is the complete second season so that's really nice especially for this time around if you're stuck inside the house or if you just want to have a movie date night this is perfect to watch but of course first you have to watch the first season before you watch the second season and definitely watch all the seasons because it's just such an amazing series so that was a spin-off from the vampire diaries which is also a really nice series as well really it's a lot of drama a lot of suspense it's it can be quite what do you call it, it can be quite um gruesome graphic so if you're not into anything graphic it does have vampires so obviously you're going to see some stuff in there so if you don't like anything graphic i wouldn't recommend you watching it 
But if you like to watch like vampire series and stuff like that, sci-fi series, which I love, I would definitely recommend that. Okay, so these heels are just an animal prince Franco Sardo heels. Franco Sardo, Franco Sardo does really well. Franco Sardo. But okay, so that's what um, the name looks like. And it is a size, let's see. One moment, please. One moment, please. Okay, this is gonna take me a while. Now, I know I saw the size on these things. Okay. Okay, so I do have to clean the bottom, but I have to clean it a little bit because it does look like it was barely worn. So the dirt on this was probably just the dirt that was in the bins. Um, okay, I can't find the size tag, but I'm sure I saw it. Okay, here it is. It is, let me use this light a little. Okay, it's a size seven medium. So really nice heels. I have to measure the heel length. These aren't listed yet, but it's a really nice pair of animal prints. But these are super nice and in perfect condition other than this little dirt that was left at the bins. Really nice for this fall winter season because animal print does really well around this time of year or basically any time of year because that's one of those type of prints that do well regardless of season, one of those type of materials and prints, so as well as denim. Denim does really well any time of year. So these next one are ankle booties from Nine West, and that's what it looks like, Nine West. I do have to clean these as well. However, it is not in bad condition at all, and it does have the animal prints um, around the heels and the back part here. I do have to measure the heels as well. And it has the red lining inside, which I really, really loved. So, and it's a size six and a half medium. So I would definitely recommend if you go to the bins because one heel was in one bin and then this was in another. So if you are looking for a pair of shoes and you just find one in a bin, I would say just keep looking, try to move everything around. That way you could find the other pair of shoe and it might be in the next bin or a bin across from it. So yeah. Nine West, size six and a half medium. And that is what the Nine West tag looks like. All right. And for the final heels, I found that the bins were these awesome. Actually, my mom found this for me. It's a VS Spiga, which is a really great brand. It is a size eight medium and it is real leather. So it's just a brown leather um, strappy heels. I do have to measure the heels as well. They are, it does have block heels, which I really, I personally prefer block heels over the regular heels because it helps me to be more balanced. I'm not really a heel type of person, but if I do have to wear heels, I'll wear wedges or I'll wear these block heels. All right, okay. So, oh, I thought this was missing a strap. <laughs> okay, so it has two straps, which is really neat. And again, it is real leather and it's in good condition for the Espigas. All right, so that is all of the items that I got those are all of the items that I got at the bins. So now I'll go ahead and show you what I got at a different thrift store. Um, this first piece that I got at, at a different thrift store is called Eki Yog. And it's ethical, fa it says ethical fashion. So I believe they only use natural fabrics in their clothing. So I picked this up because it was a really nice detailed denim shirt 
which again, like I said, denim does really well um, year round, no matter what season. And this one, let's see, it has a tie here and it has this little, it's not embroidered, it's just like a white print on the sleeves. It's sleeveless and the fabric content is 100% lyocell which I believe people always search for. And this is the size. I have to convert the size to US sizing. Let's see, can you see that? Gosh, how do you get it to focus? Okay. I don't think I could get it to focus, but I hope you could kind of see that. All right, and it just has a back button here with a little opening. So I thought this was really cute and lightweight. And of course, like I said, denim does well year round. So I had to grab that. This next one is an Ermin Gildo Zegna button down. Ermin Gildo Zegna is a really good brand. So I expect for this to do well. I expect to get a lot for this. It is in excellent condition. All the buttons are there. It has a left front pocket, a collar. It is a size large. And look at that stripe detail. I think this is gorgeous as a men's dress shirt. So I think this will go pretty fast as soon as I put it up. However, by the time I finish making this video, all of these items will be up. This is a 73% cotton, 24% nylon, 3% elastane. So it is a cotton blend. Let me see if it has an extra button. Okay, yes. Most of these dress shirts have an extra button because the designers are aware that if you lose a button, it's really hard to find the exact button to wear with this specific piece. So it does have an extra button there. And again, it's a size large, cuff sleeve and a collar, perfect for the holiday to wear as a dress shirt or just to wear as a dress shirt in the office, out to dinner, wherever. All righty. Okay, and this next one is a new to me brand, just like the Ekiog was a new to me brand. This is called Marchesa Voyage, and our Marchesa Voyage, if that's how you pronounce it. Okay, and it is a size 30, made in China. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Okay, so I picked this up because of course it's denim. But not only is it denim, it also has this white embroidered detail on it. And just a tip, when I got it, there was a little bit of a dirt here, but it looks like it could be washed out. So I was able to wash it out, thank goodness, thank God. So it is perfect. Now it's, in, it's a skinny jean, size 30, and it has the little embroidery everywhere and it has two pockets on the back. Um, if it was my size, I would keep this just because you rarely find jeans with this much detail. And Marchesa Voyage is a great brand, so I think that will do really well as well. Okay. Now for these final pieces, I also got at the thrift store where I got those last three clothing items. So let's see. These ones are, okay. These shoes are Dolce Vita. So it's just a Dolce Vita ankle booty. It's black with a blocked heel like I love, as I stated. Um, I do have to get out the I do have to clean it a bit to try to get the marker and the dirt off. But other than that, it's in great condition. It has a zipper on the back here. This one can be zippered up. Let's see. Yeah. Let 
okay there we go so it's a zippered heel and it's just uh it has a perforated detail a cutout detail here on the sides on the front so i thought that was really cute and again dolce vita is a great brand to pick up and this is a size seven and for another look because they are so beautiful perfect for this season i love ankle booties i mean now this is actually in the first sam edelman that will be in my store so these are sam edelman cut out um cut out ankle booties as well it does have a big chunky block heel which i love and it does have the lace up front detail here this is also in great condition i just have to clean the bottom and this is a size nine okay all right and then these next one are Mark Fisher heels. I picked this up because it's just a beautiful, gorgeous um, floral detail on the front. I thought that was really unique because I rarely see that on heels. And it's also a low heel for people like me who don't, who don't like to wear a really high heel. So i thought that was really nice and neat to pick up again i love the gorgeous i love anything floral and it's also a pointed toe heel so i definitely picked that up to put in my store and it is a size eight and a half which is exactly my size so if it doesn't sell i'll be definitely keeping this for my personal closet all right and now the final two items that i have are hats that was i decided i needed more accessories in my closet because i only have like clothes and shoes and a few very very few home goods items so this one is a boston cap it's pink it says boston and yeah boston massachusetts um yeah, and it has the clover here, the flower here. Said says Boston MA around the top. It has a big B and the Boston detail. I love that it was a pink and white hat. And also I looked at the fabric content and it is 80% wool. So I picked that up. The only thing I that's wrong with this is because is this little discoloration here on the front. And I did wash it, however doesn't look like this will be coming out but i think this will still do well do well because this is a rare piece to find to find a pink and green boston cap is really hard okay and this next piece i would so keep if i had a chevy truck or a chevy car because when I was growing up, I really wanted a Chevy. This is just a basic brown, pink Chevy cap. It has the Chevy logo here on the front. It has pink embroidery around the front. Well, basically all over the cap. And it's just really, really neat. Oh, I can't fit it on my hair, but I thought this would do really well. So these two pieces will be listed in all of my on all of my reseller platforms so be sure to be on the lookout if you want to purchase anything all right guys so that is everything from my haul i hope you enjoyed watching this video um i'm hoping to go thrifting again soon that way i could do another haul for you but please be sure to like comment and subscribe i will really appreciate it and thank you so much for watching my video Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to explain real quick. So far, um, seven pieces have sold for a total of $150. Um, that's what I have made profit. That is subtracting fees and cost of goods and everything. 
and I still have 29 more items to sell. It would have been 30 items if I hadn't donated that one piece, but since I am donating that one piece, it will now be 29 um, pieces that I have left to sell. So I would call this haul an overall success because I have made double my profit back. And I'm looking forward to seeing how much more I can make because I still have 29 more pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching, by my, vi watching my video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram to keep updated. Thank you. Thank you.